First things first, Mr. M. Hotjo, thank you for joining us and welcome to the show. How are you doing? Thank you for having me. I'm good, thank you. Um, just wondering when we'll be free from Her Majesty's prison. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from that, I'm good, man. I'm just hoping everyone's just staying at home, doing their thing and just pushing forward. Mm. How is isolation going for you? Isolation for me is literally Sunday in repeat. <laughs> stuck. It's like we're stuck on Sunday every single day. But good thing is I tend to do a lot of extracurricular activities like gardening, plant some flowers, them type of things, take the dogs out for long walks. <laughs> like I've actually like learned to, you know, bond or just be in the house more. But the thing is, even with isolation, prior to isolation, I've always been an isolation type of person anyway. Mm. Like, I like being, I'm a home guy. I like staying at home. I like doing stuff at home, everything from home. So not much has changed. Um, it's good to be away from people. Um, <laughs> I, I swear, I swear, I swear. Because sometimes it gets too much, like mentally. You're just around so many people. And it's just like, bruh, finally. No, she's had some months. time off, yeah. Yeah, but every time I drive past my friend's house, I open the sunroof and I shout <laughs> literally from the top of my voice. I'm like, bro, I miss you. Then this yeah. nan comes out. She's like 90. I'm like, listen, <laughs> it is what it is. But, but apart from that, isolation's been good. Usual, just working on new music, been having a few campaigns here and there, mm -hmm. um, you know, for new videos and, yeah, Call of Duty, really, and eating home-cooked food. It doesn't get better than that. You know what? You did surprise us when you said gardening and planting flowers. I thought, oh, that's so wholesome. Yes. Listen, you surprise me every time we speak to you. I get shocked. <laughs> listen, it's very, um, I feel like it's mad therapeutic, yeah, if I, it, when people do, like, little things like that. Because nine times out of ten, like, for example, in my household, my mum would not do that. My mum mm. does not do the gardening. Mm. Like, it will always be my dad. And I can understand why he does it, because... <laughs> 30 years of a stressful time like in a marriage with children that's probably his little half an hour two hours of yeah. peace like do you know yeah. what I'm trying to say so it is wholesome don't get me wrong um uh my neighbors listen to me unfortunately and they don't even know that I live next door um, <laughs> Like, literally, it's the funniest thing. Like, they'll be banging me out, and I'm just there, like, yeah, who are you I listening to? Toiling away at the soil. Like, <laughs> listen, I just take my little pot, and I just, I'm off. I'm off. I'm not chilling. Oh, imagine, yeah, you and Shayna could be next door to each other right now, and she ain't even know it. You'll never know. Listen, <laughs> the situations that I've, in my old house, when I was living in my old house, yeah, the car park, people always pull up to the car park because they was, like, I think there was a Tesco, like, literally near the yeah. house. And nine times out of ten, when I used to see, hear someone listening to my shit, I just, just, when I was walking, especially to my house, I just used to go into the bin shed. Like, <laughs> I was not, like, because you know what it is? If you're listening to me right now, yeah, and there's some guy that pops around the corner with the same physique and uh -huh. everything, like, you might be like, oh, is yeah. this my mm. man? So, listen, I've been in too many situations like that. I've been in situations where people will pull up next to me in traffic and they're listening to me and I'm just like, Raw, who are you listening to? He's hard. <laughs> they're like, yeah, it's that I'm Honcho fella. I'm like, yeah, he's sick still, yeah. And, and who? <laughs> you know them ones there? I just fully act like I don't know who the hell it is. I can just imagine you hiding in the bin shed. <laughs> listen, I, the way I hide in that bin shed as well, like, oh, like it's literally, it's like my life depends on it. But um, what you lot been up to, man? All right, listen, I've been in my house, yeah, for five weeks. I'm in jail. Like, I don't know how people do this. I would escape prison. I, I don't understand. Like, no, listen, no, no. One thing we got to be happy about, though, is the fact that it does give us a little bit of a break from mm. the outside world. Because I feel like... Um, especially in like the entertainment industry, it gets stressful. There's a lot of pressure um, and the workload is immense as well. For you guys, for, me, for artists, mm -hmm. you know, radio, labels, all of that kind of stuff. So it's good to get a little bit of break from that yeah. um, in a sense. Because like I said, it does get a bit overwhelming when you're just around people constantly and it's like 
can someone can you not just cut like I just need <laughs> some space like you know what I mean and it's like no, completely um it's I'm not trying to say it's a good thing because at the end of the day we are in the middle of a pandemic but it's good that a lot of people have realized the true value of actually like staying at home and just having their own company or just yeah. building themselves as a as a person and seeing how they can improve mentally like in terms of intelligence and all of these type of little things you know yeah um apart from that like you know i've still i've been here and there to go to the office to get some uh laptop and some stuff like that and i'm still seeing people out there just doing their thing they don't care i know they me and shayna don't... we're um so we're still doing the show as normal. Uh, we broadcast from 6.30 till 10 every day. Me, this is my dining room. And Shayna, yeah. go, she gets a car um, to the um, office and a car back every day. Apart from that, she's not going out. But people are a bit nuts, to be honest. You know, going no, I was going to, Shayna, I was going to, where was I going to? I was going to somewhere near South Norwood in South, yeah. Mm. And for me, that's about like a 45 minute drive. And mm. And you know when you get to like um like near Streatham and so on and so forth, there's just a lot of like greenery, like a lot of yeah. parks and stuff. I'm going past these parks and I'm seeing it filled up, but like yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I don't see anyone from the BAME community. I just see mm. bare white folk just there like cooling. And I'm just like, oh <laughs> like, you're the same people telling man to chill at home. Like, but you know. I'm not trying to just blame that community because I have seen man them outdoors as well. Yeah. I have seen people from, you know, certain communities that will still go out and still live their life as normal. And I just feel like they need to be very careful yeah. as to what they do. Like me, myself, I haven't seen my parents in, but since this whole lockdown thing began. And it is it is hard, you know what I'm trying to say? Not tra not seeing the people that gave you, you know, that you spend your whole life with, your parents, your siblings, for the fear of actually giving them something that you don't know you have so i just feel like you know once this whole pandemic is done and dusted um people can actually appreciate their parents that's another thing you know, yeah like that. yeah um, i agree with you I and yeah dad. man <laughs> <laughs> so but the thing is m huncho you've been keeping us entertained though because you've launched a campaign huncho for mayor online yes. big moves and we've been discussing it dissecting yeah. it on yeah. the campus lecture breakfast show. Yeah. Yeah, How? so do you want to Yeah. So, I'll be honest with you, I had no idea I was launching a campaign. <laughs> um, I had no idea. Like, literally, I've been shut down from the whole world, but, you know, my manager called me and he said he's got an idea. And, um, you know, I like my team a lot. Like, I love my team. They're very creative. They're very different. They have a different approach to everything. Um, and I feel like approach is a big thing. Um, the way you tackle, you know, when you're promoting something or in general, it's just a big thing. And the team around me, they're very creative. So they were like, look, we're just going to start a petition. The song's called Honcho for Mayor. Let's see how many signatures you get. We've got like 20k signatures. And there's me thinking, Rob, we could have actually ran for mayor. You know, a lot of people are taking it seriously as well. Don't get me wrong. Uh, a lot of people think that it is like full on real, like I'm going for it. Um, I'm not sure the government will allow that for <laughs> someone like me. I'll be real with you. But um, it's been a good campaign, you know, even to the people that think that it's real. It is, you know, it's kind of like a, raw. is my man really going for it? Like, it's, it just keeps people mad intrigued. So it has been like a positive campaign that we did put on. Like, it's it's... It's helped us with like you know growth and just you know our me the music the song that we released with it alongside with it and it's just been mad positive like the support that you're getting or I'm getting from the fans is just completely something else they haven't even read black like, you know my manifesto like they don't even know what I'm trying to do if they did know what I'm trying to do I'm definitely not trying to get they're not going to elect me well the 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 the, 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 the bigger the, the the wider UK audience will definitely not elect me because uh, they're against my morals, man. They're against my rulings, unfortunately. <laughs> Don't want to see you win. Uh, Yank and I spoke the other day on radio, actually, about what it would be like if you were actually running for mayor and you were, like, knocking on people's doors, like, door to door, rallying for votes. What do you think the response would be like? And, you know... Number one, they'll think that I'm trying to break and enter, which <laughs> well, is yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, put the trouble lock on. There's a man with a mask outside, honey. <laughs> they're just going <laughs> to... Number two, they're going to think I'm forcing signatures. Um, <laughs> 
pulling up to a house is like a big six foot four guy just like yo sign this like um it will just be on tops but if i actually did run for mayor they are you know i come from a community a broken community where i've seen things um you know positive and negative positive in the sense where i've met beautiful people um that i've grown up with that have had it hard um that deserve everything but the world that we live in doesn't give them that mm. um so there would be things that i would change in terms of like the community that i come from or the communities that exist um in london that you know i'm me being part of one of those communities you know little things like you know everyone being put into you know certain areas and you know, across the road from me will be like 10 million pound houses and, you mm. know, on the other side of the road, there's just going to be single mothers and, you know, fostered kids and, you know, drug abuse and violence and youth clubs that aren't even youth clubs because they're shut down because they can't get funded. The NHS, for example, you know, I've been, I've been reading quite a lot as well and it's, it is kind of embarrassing you know, reading things like, things about the NHS yeah. and all of these type of things, you know, when people are like, you know, people are approaching footballers saying, oh, you should take a pay cut to help the NHS. That's that's not there. It's like someone saying to you, Yinka, um, you should take a pay cut to pay for, um, I don't even know, to pay for your ex-boyfriend's house, mortgage. Yeah. Like, you get it? Like, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. You know, there's a lot of things that I've got in my mind that I would do if, if I did actually take it to that serious level. But I feel like they're not ready for the truth. And I feel like politics is a dirty game full of lies. You know what, yeah, even though it's like content and even though it's a song with a music video and you know, the signatures don't really mean anything, for me, it's like, you're a serious guy though. You know what I mean? Like, you're, you're like, you've got, you've got policies, bro. Like, it's that... <laughs> Yeah, obviously, obviously, like I, I do political stances and all of these things. I like to, you know, on my Twitter, for example, I like to retweet and you know quote tweet stuff that I, that I come across that I that I feel is wrong, or I like to have my opinion on things. And you know, like for example, let me give you an example. Ninety uh, percent, apparently, ninety percent of homeless people have all been given a temporary accommodation. Now, if homelessness was an actual like an actual thing that they could have been like this this pandemic proves that it could have been sorted like that yeah literally like in a click of a finger um i don't see any homeless people out on the street since this lockdown has started i have not seen because they've all been housed yeah you know what i'm trying to say so the houses have been available they just haven't put them in there because they're not getting paid from it so you know like you said even though like the signatures and it's just the music video and so on and so forth I do have things in my mind that I would like to express, but not in this game. This place ain't for, like, for me. The politics thing isn't for me. And personally, I feel like I'm too much of a deadly honest person. So deadly honest that I might hurt feelings. So <laughs> I, I can't belong in a game where I'll hurt people's feelings because I'm just too honest for everyone's liking. Um, apart from that, you know, it has been a fun and smooth like campaign. Like It's yeah. been fun even making the video and just being around people that actually thought that it was raw, like my man's going for it. That it's just good. It's a good feeling to see these people actually believe in you. Yeah. Um, Cause the type of fans that I've got, they're more of like, a, they're, they're, they're a cult fan base. Like they're cool. My core fan base is huge. And they all know, they would know me like inside out me as, you know, as Huncho, like as the character, they'll know me what I stand for and what I speak about and they always come to my defence. So it's good to see those people that actually did believe that it's true yeah. to yeah. get behind it and push it. And even 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 you guys that have been pushing it on radio as well, like big, big salute to all of you guys. Trust you know, me. speaking of the video, yeah, you look good as a TFL worker, you know. You look good. What is it with women and uniforms? <laughs> Listen, you yeah. look good, all right? <laughs> Listen, yeah, yeah. One, it was women and masks. Then this woman <laughs> and masks and a uniform. Like, it's like it's going to a different level. Listen, Honestly, I saw it. To... And it was like all the TL, TFL workers are buff. Like, they only hire good mm. boys. So, so, maybe that's what it is. That is, that is a lie. They either <laughs> hire young people 
yeah, that you don't really see semi young people or they hire uncles. That's it. <laughs> and aunties. What? And aunties. What's the <laughs> that is it. So I don't know which uncle you've fallen for. <laughs> if you let me know, I'll be right up. <laughs> Make sure it's not Pastor Toby, you know, in the TFO. <laughs> no, hey, you get back here. Do you know, I've seen some paying bus drivers in my time. I'm not going to lie, guys. Listen. Yeah, but that's a bus driver, like, you know what I mean? Like, bus drivers are a different league. A TFO, <laughs> Big time. TFO's where it's at. I had to, you know, my stylist had to approach um, uh, one of the TFO workers um, at the barriers in Lad Ladbroke Grove Station. Mm. And... You know, she looked at him and she said, like, I need your uniform. <laughs> like, he goes, why? He goes, look, I've got a music. She goes, I've got a music video for so-and-so. And looking at you and judging him, like, you're around the same size. So give me your stuff. Like, he was like, you know what? As soon as I go home, I'll send you an Uber. And as soon as he got home, he sent an Uber to my stylist with official TFO uniform that I've probably still got on me like till today somewhere in my house. So I don't know, maybe on an odd day, I might become a TFO worker. You never know. At least I'll get free travel. <laughs> Pass through the gates, bring the man them through. In, in the video, you also tried out, you're a builder, you're a councilman. Are these like, if you won, yeah, M. Huncho, if you yeah. won an artist, what, what would you be? Would you try any of these jobs? Up on the scaffolding. Um, scaff uh, in terms of uh, the the builder, I'll in terms of building and the construction, I'll probably have an investment in there, hundred um, <laughs> percent. Um, in terms of uh, TFO worker, I feel like I'll just catch a body if someone jumps a barrier. <laughs> I'll, I'll chase them down. Oh I don't God. care if they go from the top of the central line to the end. They'll, they'll see me at the last stop. Terminator, like, there, your high vis. Literally, my high vis just. <laughs> um, and governor, obviously, I would. Uh, politics is not my thing, but if I wasn't doing, if I wasn't an artist, I'll probably be like an engineer. I'll be honest with you, like a, um, you know, like a civil engineer or like an architect mm. or something like that, along those lines. I like drawing. I like structures. I like buildings, like things like that. I'm a weird guy, so you know what I mean. No, I just think that you've got layers like an onion. Do you know what I mean? It's not just one thing. Yeah, and every layer makes you cry. And on that note, I want to thank you for joining us at my show. Anytime. Anytime you need me during this quarantine, give us a shot. Oh, thank you.